a man should never make up excuses, especially when it comes to taking care of his family. True man, a provider, teaching, discipline. Uh, let me give a shout out to you, um, Reverend Dunn. Uh, Vina responds back to you about men. And this video may make some men mad, but the ones that get mad is the lazy men. Um, when you look at the biblical way that we truly supposed to be, especially when you see scriptures like fathers, raise your children. Fathers, do not provoke your child to anger. That should stick out. Or uh, any man that don't take care of his family is worse than an infant there. Some translations may say immediate family is worse than an infant there, which is an unbeliever. It's sad that so many men out here, according to your email, especially, I like what you said, so many men out here, they're, they're, these are not men, these are boys who are looking for the next woman to take care of them, but keep making babies on top of babies. Go start a family over here, but wouldn't dare take care of your family you already got. That's weak. That's weak. If you man enough to lay down with that woman, then you need to be man enough to take care of the responsibilities that come with it, which is your child or children. And that's why I oftentimes say, even for the ladies, who you are with, ladies, says a lot about who you are. Do you settle or do you select? But I'm dealing with the men in this particular video. I feel sorry for men who um, did, that missed out on their child um, growing up. It's a beautiful thing. I couldn't dare. I mean, the thought of that. In my mindset, I just can't, I can't, man, to see my son grow up without me, to see my daughters grow up, but grow up without me, that's something I just couldn't do. And I'm not saying this to, to, to make nobody mad, but the truth going to make you mad. You know, whatever the situation was, how you got into it, whether you together or not, that's your business. But well, my main point in this video is real men work. Men, men get up and go to work. I used to talk to my partner. He dead and gone now. He said setting dope is what made him a man. And we used to argue all the time. I said, no. Toting a gun, setting dope ain't what make you a man. But getting up, punching that time clock, getting up, going out here, Working the hard way, providing, teaching, following the Holy Spirit, being submitted to the Holy Spirit first, that's what makes you a man. Not about how many guns you got, how many cars you got, how many houses you got from what you sold on dope on the streets. And I don't care about none of my problems that get mad at me for saying that. Because I would tell them in their face, it ain't what, that ain't what make you a man. Because you know the consequences of the game, penitentiary, or the grave. Penitentiary, the grave, and if you ain't got your life right, you miss heaven. You know what the other, other, the other consequences are? Your children growing up without their daddy. See, real men go to work. <clears throat> Real men don't make excuses. Somebody just emailed me the other day, getting into it with this dude behind something so foolish that they had a physical altercation in the store in front of everybody. Boys versus men, once again. There's an old saying, y'all probably have heard this, boys fight but men go to war. Boys fight, but men go to war. We think different as we get older. Stuff you would snap fast about 
back then, you think different now. Your mind is renewed. And I don't need no hand clap for taking care of my family. I'm supposed to do that. I owe them that. It's my duty. So I ain't gonna make this video too much longer, but all those excuses, on top of excuses, they don't do nobody no good. You either gonna get with the program or you're not. And I leave on that note. Shalom.